From the Civil War to World War I now, and though it may seem hard to imagine that anyone old enough to fight for this country in 1918 is still around to tell about it, there are still three American veterans of that conflict alive, one of whom served overseas. His name is Frank Buckles, and he spent this day serving as the Grand Marshal of the National Memorial Day Parade in Washington. And as NBC's Bob Faw tells us tonight, his memories of and feelings about that time are still sharp. Old soldier Frank right Buckle, away. now 106, has hardly faded away, though it's been almost 91 years since the Missouri native enlisted to fight in the so-called war to end all wars. If anybody asked me how old I was, I told them I was 21. <laughs> 20, and you were 15. <laughs> After basic training at Fort Riley, Kansas, Buckles joined the Ambulance Corps and served in France just as the guns were silenced. I felt that everybody else got the glory and I didn't. You were cheated. <laughs> and when the Great War ended, Frank Buckles came home quietly with no fanfare. Nobody asked me where I had been. Nobody asked me what I had seen. And I felt... Something was wrong about that. No one seemed interested. Nobody gave a damn. Real still, we're at the camera. Now one photographer does care. David DeYoung is determined to honor the handful of World War I veterans still living. When the daily news reflects on the deaths of today's youngest soldiers, uh, America's oldest soldiers seem to be forgotten once again. Frank Buckles shouldn't be a shipping company executive when the Second World War began. He spent 39 months eating from this tin cup as a Japanese prisoner of war. Later, he was awarded the Legion of Honor by the French government. Now, school children, wide-eyed, write to him. You're a great person. You are a hero. From World War I, which exacted a fearsome toll, 53,000 Americans killed, from so many Americans who served. 4,734,991. And now there are only three. Three. Humble and proud then, humble and proud now. Frank Buckles, until the last trumpet sounds, soldiering on. Bob Faw, NBC News, Washington.